Hi, Max Katz with Outbreak.io here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to build an app that uses a barcode scanner to scan a code, and we'll do this all under five minutes. So I created a new app, and so let's go ahead and open it. All right, so we got an app. Again, it's a brand new app, um, and let's open the start screen. All right, let's um, set the title. We'll just call this barcode. And we'll quickly build the UI. So first we'll drop a button and we'll call this scan and we can add an, uh, an icon. So something like this. And then for the actual scan value, we'll just use the, a text area. So we'll just drop the scan value, uh, scanned value for example, as a placeholder. And that's it. So it's a very simple app. And then the next step is to add the barcode scanner. And to do that, we're going to create new and service. And so as um, PhoneGap or Apache Cordova is bundled in every app, so you, you get access to PhoneGap APIs. And then you also get access to uh, an extra plugin, which provides the barcode scanning capability. So we select device, service, and click create service. Now, because this is based on existing API, there's nothing for us to set in settings nothing for request and then response is also uh, all configured and preset so let's go back to the ui from design view we'll go to data and we'll add the device to the page um, so nothing to do for the input mapping because we're just going to invoke the service uh, but for, for the success we're going to map the result so text this is the actual value that was scanned and we'll map it to the uh, text area, and the format is the type of the is the format of the uh, value that was scanned. Uh, and now canceled will be either true or false, and that's um, if the user canceled the scan. So we're not going to worry about it in this example. All right, let's go back to the UI. Now the last thing is we need to invoke the service. So selecting the button, and then events tab, click, and then invoke service. Right, and that's all we need to do. Now, because we're using a native API, we cannot test in the browser, and so for that, I'm going to test the app on my iPad mini. And I'm gonna share the screen with you in just a few seconds. All right, so this is, um, um, this is the iPad mini, and I'm using the app that you test for mobile app, which allows you to test um, apps that use native APIs uh, from the device. And what's nice is that you don't have to install the app on the device. You can just use this app, which is pretty nice. So let's click barcode app. That's the app that I created, and it's going to go ahead and uh, load the app that I just built. All right, so this is the app. And again, this is now running a hybrid app. And again, what's nice is that you don't have to download it and install it on the device. So let's click Scan, and we open. So what I have here, I have a, a book on APIs, right? And then let's get the code here, right? And you can see we got the scan code. So of course, the barcode scanner, all it does is it scans. And then of course, once you get this value, you can save it in your app, uh, maybe in local storage. And then, most likely, you can have a service that you're going to invoke and then search a database and then get more information about this particular uh, item uh, that was scanned. So as you can see, um, using the barcode scanner is very, uh, is very simple and very fast. And again, testing is also incredibly simple uh, when you use the Apri.io uh, mobile tester. So definitely sign up and give this quick app a try. Thanks for watching.